up. Thank you very much, Drew. Hello. Hey, what's up? Hey, my friend. Hey, you're on the air. Hey, pretty good. Sorry about that. Um, that's Aaron, the truck driver. I called a couple. What's right, up, I'm, just, I'm just glad to hear someone who can hear our voices yeah. and we can hear you. So, yeah, everything's groovy. How you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. I got a question for you. I was, I was just curious about it. I was listening to the show the last couple of days. And uh, <clears throat> have you ever, I'm just, because he's basically your competition right now. Have you ever thought about giving a call to uh, Michael Mara at all? No. I, I, it'd be kind of cool to hear you, Buzz, and Michael Mara, just like epic, just to hear you guys for one last time. No, listen, here's... I'm just here's, curious if you ever talked to him, or when's the last time you talked to him, or anything like that. I don't, I don't talk to Mike, and, it, and I'm happy to address this, because I, I get asked it a lot. You know, I, I, I'll give a plug right here. Everyone should listen to Mike O'Mara Show Podcast.com. I, I'm for everyone that's doing a podcast. These are all the people that are in the same business as me right now. But to be very honest with you, what I'm doing is, as far as I can tell, it's different than what Mike's doing. And I wish Mike, as I always have, the best of luck in what, what he's doing now, and I'm doing what I do. And to be honest with you, I don't think that if we ever got together that we would be able to recreate what we had back then. I don't think we could, and I would be terribly afraid to get back together and do something that sucked. Actually, I agree with you on that. That's that and I think, and I think I'm being, right. I think I'm being a realist about that. I, I, I really do. So I, I'm happy to have the Don and Mike show be what it is—a big part of my life, a part of my life that I'm very proud of. And you know, do I talk Watch to Mike up. and stuff? I haven't talked to Mike for years, but that doesn't mean I don't love Mike. My my life has gone one way, and his life has gone. Another way, the one thing I would say that's binding us together again now is that now we're in the same the same venue, and I'm and I think you're going right. to find, uh, unlike with radio guys who I would fight with and have arguments with and have battles with, this is now me against the radio industry where I'm going to I'm happy to line up with my idol Steve Dahl and say yes let's do this and with Adam Carolla and with Mike who has a podcast and anybody else Phantom and Craig. Anybody that's got a podcast, I, I, they go and To me, you're 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 already on the good guy side, so that's how I feel about it. And the thing with Mike, I hope I answered your question. Okay. No, you you did, man. And uh, like I said, I'm I'm a great fan of your show, and I'm glad I'm glad to I hear I listen to all your shows, and I'm glad you're in that genre of podcast right now. So it, you, it's man. great to to hear that from you. Thank you, my friend. Hello. Hello. Hey, Don. Hey, buddy. Don fucking Geronimo, how are you? Hey, fucking listener. Thank you for pushing the button, Drew. I just I'm realized what you did. I just saw what you did there. <laughs> hey, how are you, my yeah, friend? I was going to say, I heard you say hi to me on the on the computer before I heard you on the phone. I had, And it's very familiar that, like the radio studio, it's awesome. That's because Drew had to push the button for me. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Hey, what's happening? Excellent. Thank uh, you for subscribing. For you. I just uh, asked you about your, your past with Mike, and I that jogged my memory and made me remember... Uh, how you and Rabe were so tight and talked to each other like, you know, giddy schoolgirls on the uh-huh. phone at night and referenced all kinds of things. Are you still in touch with Rob? No. No, as I, um, you know, I talked about this with Buzz. Buzz, you posted that interview that I did with you, right? Right, yes, absolutely. It's still up there. Uh, if you go to Buzz's uh, News and Comments website, Buzz did an interview with me where I talked uh, pretty in-depth about that. Um, okay. You know, it, it, here's the thing. With all of those guys that I used to work with, and it's weird because some of them, after I left, some of them went and worked with Mike, and then some of them started their own company, and I'm working with them now, and that has nothing to do with the fact that they used to work with Mike. The reason that I'm with the Realm Group is because of my association with Buzz, who I love, and I, the chance to go into business with Buzz, I do it a million times over in, in a heartbeat. Now, when I, left, when I left the show at WJFK, listen, I, I, I got into great deal of... Uh, on this many, many times, so I don't want to retread and say something that's different than what I said before. I want to remember <laughs> <laughs> what I fucking remember said before. Remember the script. No, no. Right, right. No, listen, the truth is, I don't know, man. I don't know. With Mike, I understand it. I get it. Mike had to go out and run his own show, and I get it. And with Mike, the beautiful thing about my relationship with Mike, as I had said for years, was I love Mike like my brother. But the whole time I worked with Mike, we didn't vacation together. We didn't socialize together. We would socialize if we had like a if we had a big milestone. We got a big contract. We go out. We get fucked up together. We go out to an industry thing. We go out together after the industry thing. We get fucked up together. But we we figured out 
We were with each other so fucking much during that show. That's the friendship. That's the friendship where you have each other's back. And Mike and I, behind the scenes, I hope you understand what I'm saying. It's not that we weren't friends. We went our separate ways because we were so fucking tight doing that show. Now, with Rob, I had a different I had a different setup with Rob. Rob was my friend and someone that I had employed, someone that I had paid out of my pocket, a different relationship than I had had with Mike. And when I left the WJFK show, all communication with Rob ceased. I mean, I picked it up a couple of times and texted. He may have texted me once or twice, but there's been nothing. And I've always been heard about it. I've always been heard about it, but I let it go. I let it go. You know, I mean, I I wish him nothing but the best. I I don't have anything more to say to you than than that. There's no giant story there. Uh, Frankly, I thought that when I left, as I said to Buzz when he was interviewed, when I left that show, I, I got the feeling I was dead to those guys. That nobody really understood why I did what I did. And I felt resentment. And the way that I felt resentment was the fact that I didn't hear from anybody. And I want to put that slow. Yeah. I want to put that solely on, as I said, with Buzz, that was with the guys that I, not Mike. I had a different and still do have a different relationship with Mike. So I, I hope, listen, I hope that I've answered your question. Have I? You, you have, you know, it's just, it's just interesting because, you know, we've heard you guys together for so long. You, you seem like family to us, and you know, obviously, we don't and, know. And, and we were, and you for the longest as time, as well as you, you know, would show us for, on the radio. But, but for the you longest know, it time, like you guys would hang out off the air too, and you, you really and, kind and, of showed that. And, I mean, and we did. You know what I would say to you? Act that's I, great. You know what I would say to you? It wasn't an act. I would say to you, why don't you call Rob and ask Rob why we're not friends? Oh, why doesn't somebody call Rob dun, dun, dun. and ask him that? <laughs> really? Why? I mean, I. I've answered, and I hear what you're saying, like, well, you guys are friends and family. Yes, I thought so, too. I thought so, yeah. too. And I've answered the question to the best of my ability. Well, that's cool. Yeah, I know it is. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Fucking A. I've paid bye. for the year, and I'll, I'll pay again already. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Very nice. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Very nice. You understand? I don't, want, I don't want to kill anybody here. You're not. I, and I, and I, want to be, I want to be very careful, because what I do know is, like I said about Mike, Mike is... Mike's different, as a different cat, man. I mean, that guy and I went through shit together. Mm -hmm. Total shit together. I mean, the shit that Mike and I went through, I will be loyal to him for fucking ever. Forever. And I'll I'll tell you why. Let me take a phone call. Hello, uh, Don Geronimo Show. Hello. 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 Hey, you're on the air. Hey. Can you hear me? Yeah. All right. Why can't these motherfuckers leave the past alone? Stop asking me these fucking questions about, do you still talk to Mike? Do you still talk to Rob? Get over it. Just enjoy what the show is now. And listen, and just enjoy what's going to happen in the future. God. I agree, I agree with you, but, it, but I, but I want to make sure that I address any call that I get and that anything is not left out there without me being as transparent as I can. And I as shit. I even said I got to remember what I said before. Right. right. <laughs> Trying to keep I mean, all, dude. all the shit straight. Listen, I appreciate it. Thank you. Let me take another one. Here's a call from Mary Co. Hey, it's the truck driver again. Sorry for calling it again. That's all right. I wanted to relay what that guy was talking about, calling motherfuckers for calling about missing out the past and shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah go ahead. I mean, seriously, I, I, that's what I was going for. I just wanted to know the whole, you know, history between you guys and, you know, just see guys talk again. But, you know, I agree with everything you said, but I just wanted to relay that. All right. I appreciate it. Thank you. And you, and you got your two cents in it as well. There you go. That's beautiful. I like, listen, there's nothing I fucking like better than just opening up the phones and letting people go. Pretty fucking honest, man. I'm, I'm not going to hit the dump button. I mean, you're goddamn right. Anyway, listen, let me tell you something about Mike, and then, I, then I'm going to close this chapter. But I just want to tell you something. You learn a lot about a guy. Mike and I were sued <laughs> quite a few times doing the Don and Mike show. Quite a few times. Once early on, 1980s, we were sued. And they tried to divide and conquer us right up front. And neither one of us knew what they were doing. We were in separate rooms, and we both had each other's back. Mm-hmm. And that's when I knew. That's when I knew. I love the fucking guy. I wish him the best. I truly do.